Mentorig, and today I'm here to talk to you about the newest addition to our camera equipment. I'm really excited about this lens. This is made by Lens Baby. This is the Soul 45. Now this is a fixed focal length at 45 millimeters and a fixed aperture at 3.5. This lens is sweet and probably one of my favorite features about it is that it actually gets me out with intentions just to shoot and have a good time and be creative. That's not normally something I feel like I do. I feel like oftentimes when I go out for photography, it's for a purpose, whether that's shooting gear reviews, shooting product photos. And so I love that this lens is getting me out there to be entirely creative. With that said, it's also really fun for product shots because of the way the lens works. Now, starting out with the quality of the lens, I was actually very surprised. Coming in at $200, I wasn't sure what to expect with this lens, but when I pulled it out of the box, I knew for sure that it was a high quality lens. You know that sometimes when you pull cheaper lenses out, you can feel that they're not made with the highest quality materials, they're light and they feel chintzy. This one is not like that at all. It's very high quality and I'm not proud to admit this, but the other day it rolled out of the truck and it is just fine. I had it in a little bit of a protective case, but I was a little bit nervous about that and there's not even a scratch on the lens. So I think it's a durable lens that's gonna hold up to a ton of abuse, which we're gonna throw at it in the next few years, just based on our lifestyle. Whether we're out on the motorcycles, skiing, hiking, anything like that, our lenses kind of get abused. This lens obviously comes with a lens cap on the front and a cover on the back. And so you're protected there if you're gonna be storing the lens. Now, the cool thing about this lens is that basically the front portion of the lens unlocks and you can swivel that lens. So it's kind of hard for me to describe, but basically what you do is when you're shooting, you can find something you wanna focus on and you can point towards that object in the frame and focus solely on that. So like I said, it's really cool for product photos because let's say I'm shooting these sunglasses and I just wanna emphasize the Smith logo on the side of the glasses. It's really a neat effect to point that lens towards that and get that Smith in focus, as you can see here. You can also lock down the swivel effect. So if you just want to shoot kind of a more traditional way, that's easy to do with this lens. So when I first got this lens, I was really excited for more of a macro style lens. I was like, this is going to be awesome for close-ups, for anything like plants out in the wild. But the more I found is that it's really cool for landscapes and really broader shots. It definitely adds a new creative touch to those shots and it's really fun to play around with. It's awesome to try and adjust where the focal mark is in the shot whether it be the sky or maybe the landscape in front of you, it's really a fun tool to play around with. Now, one thing to mention is that I've been shooting with the Sony a6000 for a long time, and I am gonna be honest with you, I use automatic focus for almost everything that we're doing, um, unless I'm shooting at night or maybe some more specific close-up product shots. And so this lens being only a manual focus, it definitely takes some getting used to. When I first started playing around with it, I was trying to shoot Hank and just with his movement and him being so sporadic, it was definitely hard for me to keep up just because I'm used to the auto focus. It is nice though, once you get used to it, it's super easy and it's just, again, adds to the creative fun of it. One thing to mention, like I said, I'm shooting with the Sony A6000. They do make this with a couple different mounts. I know Canon for sure. So definitely be sure to check out the different mounts that are available with the Soul 45. Another cool feature about the Soul 45 are these bokeh blades on the inside of the lens here that you can see. Now these again add a cool texture and element to the photo and it's just really fun to play around with. And it's something that I haven't really been able to try at night so much, but I'm really excited to play around with this at night. Maybe do some product shoots at night and see what kind of crazy effect I can get with those. If you're just shooting in daylight like this though, it does add kind of an interesting texture. If you're looking for an accessible prime lens, I would highly suggest the Lens Baby Soul 45. It brings a lot to the table and it's really fun and adds a nice creative effect to what you're doing. It's very reasonably priced coming in at $200 and I feel like for $200, you're getting one heck of a lens here, high quality materials. And again, something that's just gonna really open up your creative mindset. If you have any questions about the Lens Baby Soul 45, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are, what we're up to, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Adventure Ring. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Callie with Adventure Ring.